This is the star of the show today. This is the 2023 Vegas. And today we're gonna to walk around the 24.1 because it has some great features on it I can't wait to share with you. Now, you may be thinking, well, when, when would I use a, a motorhome like this? And there are so many different ways. Here's something I want you to think about. I did a little digging and found that most people, on average, they get two weeks vacation, right? The average RV owner uses their motorhome 27 days a year, which sounds great. You may be thinking, well, it's like three weeks vacation. I wish I had three weeks vacation. But when you do the math, it's something like 338 days you're not out there exploring. You're not out there having fun. So there are a lot of different things you can do with the motorhome this size. Now, remember, this is under 30 feet, so you can take it just about anywhere. And maybe, maybe you're a couple with uh, older kids in college, or they have their own families, and they live different coasts. Great way to go see them, right? You're not going to stay with them. You're not going to bother them. You're not going to impede in their schedule. you got your own thing going on. Or maybe you just like day trips or long weekends. This is going to be fantastic for that. But this really made me think an RUV, a recreational utility vehicle like this Vegas, would be perfect for what I was indoctrinated into over the past couple of weekends. Travel baseball. My my 15 year old nephew Jacob plays baseball. He is six foot eight and a half at 15. Plays first base and he pitches. Travels all over playing baseball. And, and while I was sitting there watching the first game, which was like at eight, and they win, and so there's another game, but it's late in the afternoon. And I'm thinking, well what what do you do in between games, right? I ask my, my sister-in-law, I, I say Tammy, what, what do you guys do? Oh, we usually just hang out. How cool would it be to hang out inside of Vegas? So we're gonna kind of focus on that as we walk through because the season is long. You think about the cost of food, the cost of hotels. You have it all right here in Vegas. We are talking gobs and gobs of storage. It's easy to drive. So what we're gonna do now is show you some beautiful B-roll as I walk up front and take you on an exterior tour. So for 2023, we made a couple of awesome tweaks to this front cap. First thing you'll notice, this headlight bezel, these beautiful daytime running lamps, a nice aggressive look. You'll know when this Vegas is coming at you. Changed up the fog lights a little. And one of the things that sets the Vegas apart is this giant panoramic windshield. When you are traveling down the road, you can see everything. Your passengers can see everything. Now remember, this is an RUV, a recreational utility vehicle. We talked a little bit about travel sports. We're going to show you all the things you can bring with you as we walk down the side. Now one of the things I do want to point out is that this is built on a Ford E-Series strip chassis. So essentially it's a Class C chassis, but instead of having the familiar doors that you get into like a truck, this gives us a lot more room to build inside. When we go inside, you'll see exactly what we are talking about, and we'll get into the 7.3 liter power plant under the hood when we hit the road in this Vegas. You do have heated remote mirrors, and one of the things that I really love about these mirrors is this integrated camera, and we've changed things up inside as well. On the steering wheel, you're gonna find a button. You can pop that up at any point, so you're making a lane change, whatever, absolutely no blind spots, which is why we have the camera here instead of down here where you're going to see low and you drive through some muddy terrain that splashes up on the camera, suddenly that blind spot is there. So that is why we put the cameras right here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful color. Now this is our Sterling HD Max. That stands for high density, which means that the same color goes through. And the way that we build our sidewalls is I want you to think of you ever use one of those um, space saver bags? You know what I'm talking about? Where you put the stuff in there and then you suck all the air out. So we take the fiberglass and then we take the black foam insulation and then we take the aluminum frame and we take the inner wall and then we put that all together and then we run it through our lamination process, which like I said, is kind of like the space saver bags because we suck, we just suck all that air out of there and we let it sit in there for about a half an hour and it comes out beautiful just like this. Now we have two colors. The blue you see here is our Galleria. We also have the red 
This is a different floor plan, but you can still see the red. This is called Marquee. Absolutely beautiful, great choices on both. We also have the nice frameless windows running down the side, and one of the benefits to having the frameless windows is you're not gonna have those gaskets to maintain all the time. They open up awning style, just turn the lever and they'll pop open for you so you still get a lot of nice ventilation through there. And if it's raining, the rain's not gonna come in. And if it's raining, you can just go ahead and put out this awning. 17 feet of awning right here. This comes out, you have LED lights underneath to light up your campsite at night. You can control this two ways. You can use your Rapid Camp Plus remote. We're gonna talk all about Rapid Camp when we go inside. You can also use the main panel. It is a one-touch awning. It also has wind sensors. So in the event that it gets a little rocky out there with mother nature, it will automatically retract for you. You, you. you should never leave your awning out when you're away from camp anyway, but in the event you forget and that happens, right? We're all busy. We're, we're trying to get to that baseball game. It'll automatically go in for you. Uh, that vacuum bonding process, which is why we have an awesome warranty. We are gonna give you 12 years on the structure, six year lamination and a one year limited warranty. We also do the same process for the floor and for your roof, which is a cross flex roof up there. One piece, it's reflective, it's easy to maintain, it's easy to clean, absolutely durable up there. As we walk down the side, tons of storage on this, tons and tons of storage. You have a nice bay right up here. Maybe you throw uh, some tools in here. Maybe you throw a shop vac because if you're at that baseball game and somebody walks in with their dirty, dirty cleats, you can just suck up all that sand. Each have their own light you can control through Rapid Camp Plus, be it inside or with your remote. And what's nice is because these are rotocast, uh, they're a nice durable plastic and I am unscrewing the drain plug in the back. So there's a little drain plug in the back of this bay here. So if you want to rinse it out, you throw some dirty gear in there, you can always hose this out when you're back, or here's a great idea. Okay, so let's say uh, you have that game that end, it ends at 11, right? So you're done at 11, and then your next game isn't until, let's say it's four in the afternoon, you want to have the team all out, you know, we're, we'll get down to how you can grill out for the entire team. Throw some bags of ice in here, throw a bunch of drinks in here, and use this as a giant cooler for everybody. They're gonna love it. You're gonna be the star of the show. Inside here, you're going to find your battery disconnect switch. You're gonna to wanna to turn that on. Leave that on the entire time you're camping. That is gonna fire up all the 12 volt systems in your house. You're also gonna find the OCCC, your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. This is going to give you 1,345 pounds and it is 25 feet, eight inches long. So that is important information to know. As we walk down the side here, you do have a couple of outlets. So if you wanna blend up some smoothies for that team, when uh, you have power to the outlets, you can go ahead, run your generator and turn that blender on. Throw the camping chairs in here, right? Another great long bay for you. You can set up under the awning to block the sun. And we talked about when the entire team is hungry, they are waiting. Look at this, exterior propane connection. Bring your own grill, roast up some hot dogs, better than what you're gonna get at, at, at the concessions at these games. You know, the, the, the soggy buns, nobody wins with soggy buns. You put that on a bumper sticker because it's absolutely true. So you got the grill going, you invite everybody over, except that one mom. You know that one mom, she can get her own stuff, right? Invite everybody over, you got the hot dogs going, just tell them, hey, be careful, this is going to be exhaust for your furnace. This is to access your fridge if you would ever need to do any service on it. That is here, hot water, six gallon hot water tank. You can fill up your fresh water here. It is gravity fill. You just put your hose in and then you fill up your tank and we'll get over to tank capacities when we get over to the other side. This is what I love about the 24-1. The amount of storage on here is unbelievable. We're talking 63 and a half cubic feet of storage. We got the grill, we got the golf clubs, we got the wakeboard in here, but you're gonna throw in all your baseball gear, right? Yeah, okay. But when you're done with baseball, you can throw in all of this stuff and go anywhere you wanna go. And the nice thing is this is pass-through. We have the golf bag in, you can get it out through here. 
You can get out through here. You can get it out through the other side. We have a ladder that will take you up to that roof. We talked about how easy it is to maintain. It is, you just get up there, you clean it off. You do have to do roof maintenance. I also love steel bumper. What's great about a steel bumper is if you accidentally ding into something, it is going to be a lot easier to replace a steel bumper if you need to, or let's just say this, it's not you, it's then. Let's say somebody wasn't paying attention and dinged you up. Steel bumper gonna protect you a little bit better. You don't have to do a lot of expenses. expensive fiberglass repair, steel bumper. Down here, you do have an 8,000 pound hitch. You do have your uh, four pin and seven pin connector. And remember, GCWR minus your GVW. That is how you get your towing capacity. As we work our way over to the other side, pull the golf clubs out from this side. It is so huge. The amount of storage, you're gonna love it. Take everything you want with you in this Vegas. Down below, we do have our 4,000 watt Onan quiet gas generator. You are gonna love having a generator on board because you can, one, run it when you are driving down the street to run your roof mounted AC to keep the inside cool. And when you are parked at the stadium in between games and those hot summer days, instead of sitting out there just roasting and waiting, you're inside your Vegas in the parking lot, the AC is running, maybe you have the TV on, and you'll see all the great amenities inside when we get in there, but great tool to have. It runs right off your gas tank too. Won't run if you have under a quarter of a tank. It's a little safety precaution there, so it's not gonna leave you stranded. Remember, there is maintenance on there, so keep up with your maintenance schedule. We have our fuel fill. We have our black tank flush right here, our 30 amp service, and when you're at the campground, you wanna hook up some cable, this is where you are gonna do that. City water connection here, our exterior shower, which is going to be great when you want to rinse off uh, the dirty everything, right? Dirty cleats, or when you're taking just a fun family non-sports related vacation, you're gonna love having this feature here. Maybe you have, maybe you brought the mountain bikes, right? Maybe you're not towing a vehicle, maybe you have a bike rack on the back and you did some serious off-road mountain biking. Just hose them off. Down here, we do have our black tank. Now this does have the optional uh, heat pads on there. We'll talk about getting those turned down. We do have our uh, gray tank and our black handles here. You have 42 gallons of fresh water. You have 40 gallons of gray and a 30 gallon black tank. Remember you pull your black and then you pull your gray. And what's nice about this is you hook, there's a, you can move the, the nozzle down here and you can hook up your sewer hose and then you can lock this up and it will run down here and then you don't have the unsightly hose hookup on the outside. Over here, we do have our propane tank. You are going to want to turn your propane on when you want to use your stove, when you want to grill up all those hot dogs and brats on the other side with your exterior propane connection. I do want to mention on that exterior propane connection, it is regulated. So in the event you're not getting the flow you want from your gas grill, you're going to remove the regulator from that device. Uh, this is your propane tank. You can get this filled wherever you enjoy getting your propane filled. The hardware store, the campground, either or wherever. And in here, another storage bay. And we also have the controller for your slide wall here, which we'll put out in case you need to do a little troubleshooting or reset the motors, because sometimes they do get out of sync. You're gonna do that right down here. And there are instructions printed on there. When the code is flashing, it's gonna tell you what to do, but typically you just hold it, press it, press it, press it six times, hold it, on the, hold it down, uh, and then it will reset the motors. But you can also do that inside. And as we speak about inside, I can't wait to show you everything you're gonna find inside this 24-1. Wouldn't it be great if you could, like everywhere you went, have B-roll follow you around. We are inside now the 24.1 and this has so many features. First, I wanna talk about the room in here. This is what this coach is like with the slide wall in. You have 82 inch ceiling height in here. You can walk from front to back. You have a north, south, twin to king conversion. We will show you that in a little bit. You can access the bathroom right back here. You can get it, you can, you can access tasty snacks. You can get in the closet. This is all with the slide in, but what do you say we pull the slide wall out and we are gonna do that using 
Rapid Cam Plus. You can hook it to your phone or you can use a main control panel right here. And so this is how we're going to do this here. We're going to walk through as we put out the slides. This does so many features. It's the third button down. You hit slides. You have to have the engine on and you have to have your parking brake set. Now this does have electronic stabilizer jacks and those are down. You can control those through here as well. And out goes the slide, just like that. So you have uh, so many features from here. The same slide feature that we're on right now is how you control your awnings and your stabilizer jacks. And you will get little warnings. There we go, a slide is out. Now look at all the room. You'll get little arrows here that will say you can't put out your awnings or you can't put your stab jacks down because that the motor is running a safety precaution there. But now we are back here. The engine is off. Let's go back home and walk you through here. You can check your tank levels. You can turn your lights on and off. You have a master switch. Climate, you can see the temperature, uh, lights on, lights off. You can turn your water pump on. Next button down, water pump again. Your electric and your gas water heater. We talked about having that propane on. Make sure it's on when you want to use your water heater. Again, your gas is going to be your main source to Heat up that six gallon hot water tank and then when you're plugged in you can turn on the electric and that will kind of maintain it but the gas will always be your main source showed you the heat pads on the uh black tank right over on that side this is where you turn that on and you can check all your tank levels right there the slide button awnings your stabilizer jacks your drop down overhead bunk which we will show you in a little bit and this is how you control your climate really easy to do and you can connect to the cloud which is really nice when you're setting this up and pairing it with your phone you connect to the cloud now wherever you are as long as you have your coach connected to wi-fi which we'll talk about when we get to the well weingard connect 2.0 4g hotspot and wi-fi extender easy to do and you can also connect your phone to Wi-Fi anywhere, and now you can control your climate no matter where you are in the world. Also, we have, uh, going down, we have our lights, you know, everywhere. You can dim them if you want, turn on the lights in your cargo bay. Uh, you have your auto gen start. As you press your auto gen start, you can enable that. You just simply swipe to turn it on, and then you can go ahead and you can set your parameters. Through there, you can check uh, your battery voltage and What's new is you can control your solar controller from here as well. You do have 100 watts of optional solar on this. You can check the solar stats here and you can also turn on your fans. There are also hard buttons at the bottom labeled one, two, three, and four. Those will turn on your lights when you walk in. You have extend and retract for your awnings, for your slides, for your stabilizer jacks. You can control right here. And then the two buttons over here are how you take and you pair your phone. Really easy to do. You're going to love Rapid Camp Plus. So our slide is out, and now it's time to walk you around this amazing living space, okay? So we have the 82-inch ceiling heights. We have the residential floor. You have a nice mirror over here so you can do your best Fonz impersonation when you wake up in the morning. Two decor choices. This is the new liquid mercury that we are in. This has the silver oak wood. These are Euro style cabinets. You have the soft closed hinges here, so they will stay closed when you're driving. I really like the look of these. If you like, you can also get the home collection. And that is the nice white cabinets. So, and we've showed you this in so many different motorhomes. And this is kind of a look at the flooring and the furniture. And then you're going to have those nice off-white cabinets with uh, the, the black accents here. So this is the, the new for 2023 interior. There are your cabinet options, the Ivory Coast cabinets, and we are looking at the silver oak. Let's get over to this couch. This is great, right? You got plenty of room here. There are three seat belts in this couch so you can sit three in here so you have a, you have a tv up there if you'd like to watch some tv you're more than welcome to do that as this does have a nice tv inside there's also one in the bedroom we'll show you when we get in the back also this does have an hdmi cable in here so if you would like to connect a video game or you would like to connect a streaming device you can go ahead and hook that and plug that in right here in the cabinet next to the TV. So some great entertainment options for you. But the other nice thing about this bed, well, I, I just gave it away. The other nice thing about this couch is it does make into a bed. I'm gonna do that for you, set the pillows out of the way. Now you might be thinking, well, this is, this is just gonna be a little tiny jackknife sofa. That's about this big. Not in the 24-1, real easy to do, all right? Just take and you move your cushions. This is a tri 
fold sofa. You put your cushions out of the way. All right, so you lift up and there are gonna be two legs right down here. You simply pull just like that. And then you go ahead and you flip this down and then you can go ahead and you can take and put the cushions back there and then you have a nice place to sleep, right? You could, you could get two kids on this. The other thing, and it's stored right back here, is a table. We have some nice, more of that beautiful B-roll I like to show you. There's the table set up. I'll talk about the table while I put away the bed. So real easy to set up. There are two legs here that screw into uh, the metal bases down below and then you lock it into place and then you just pop your table on and now you have a nice place for breakfast, you have a nice place for dinner and those legs are gonna be stored for you right back here. Let me show you how this works, all right? So you have this little base here, you just unscrew that and you put it in, you lock it, you tighten it up and you do that for each side and you pop the table on, it pops on and off real easy. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, move it when you are ready to sleep. You also have a ladder back here and the ladder is for the drop down overhead bunk. This is great, all right? So here it is, nice picture of it. 250 pounds. This is going to be about the size of a twin bed. So you're going to get one up here and that nice, easy to store collapsible ladder. Just folds right up, stores right in the same closet. Climb up, you have a good night's sleep. So you have some great sleeping options up here for your guests. So you have the guests, you have the kids, you have everybody in here. It's time to feed them. Let's start with breakfast. We have a lot of breakfast to choose from in these lovely deep cabinets. They want Apple Jacks. They want Fruit Loops. They want Lucky Charms. Oops! All berries. I would go with the all berries. I wish they had Count Chocula. The, the sad thing is, is this actually looks, or looked like back in my bachelor days, my whole cabinet in my kitchen was filled with cereal. I love cereal. Bring plenty of it. But you can also store your coffee, your plates, your cups. Lots of cabinet space up here and a lot of counter space here. There's a better look at all your favorite cabinets. You do have the two burner gas cooktop. It has electric start. You just hit light, you hold down the button, you can hear it and then that will light and you can go ahead and cook away. You do have this large single bowl sink. You are seeing it here without the cover, but there is also a cover on it. You can just take this cover off. You can use this as a cutting board, whatever you need to do and you have this flip up countertop extension. Use it for a cookbook. Slice your lemons on it. Whatever you want to do, you have all the counter space here. And then down below, you have a convection microwave. And what's great about a convection microwave is, yes, you can use it like a normal microwave and you can heat up uh, whatever you have in your double door fridge here. Maybe you have some frozen meals up here in the freezer, throw them in. Maybe you have some leftovers in the fridge, throw them in. But because it's a convection microwave, you don't have to use it like a regular microwave. You have a convect button on here and all you have to, it's right at the top, you hit convect. And what that will do is circulate the hot air suddenly. You know what it turns this into? A really big air fryer. So go ahead and throw your fries in there or your chicken strips or anything you want to crisp up. You can use that as a big air fryer. It's a great tool to have. It's a convection microwave. Don't be afraid to convect with it. A lot of storage over here. You do have a nice trash can under there. You have all kinds of drawers, remotes for the TV right now we have stored in here. More drawers down below, more drawers down below. Uh, down below your fridge, you have your fuse box. So you, this is where, and we put it here intentionally in case you ever need to reset one of your fuses. There are 12 automotive blade style fuses in here as well as your regular household circuits. So. Everything is kind of wired into that. After you plug in, it's going to kind of decide, well, well is this a 12 volt? Is this one? Two? So right there, if you ever blow a fuse, that's where you're going to reset it. As we work our way back, how about we check out that beautiful bathroom? Large bathroom in here. You do have a toilet back there and you do have a shower porcelain toilet. You have your sink. You do have a lot of storage up above and you see the blue in the shower there. Look at all that storage there. So as we go back to the shower, you will see a nice blue pipe like a thing. That is the new shower miser. And this is really a great thing to have when you're on a trip, especially if you're dry camping or 
you know, you're parked at uh, you're parked at the baseball field all day. It's going to save you fresh water. It's going to help you with your tank capacity. Um, here's what happens. All right. So the switch on the knob on the right side of your screen there, you can see is in this position. So it's off position. And then as you turn on the hot water, as it starts to cycle through, the blue will turn to white just like that. And that way you will know your water is hot as it circles around in the knob on the right you push down and all that lovely hot water will flow into your shower onto you refreshing you after a long day of adventuring or a day like today where it's very warm and maybe you've been out doing whatever and it will bring it back to the sports games right maybe in between games you want to just shower off maybe maybe your player has a really weird slide and it's just filthy they can go ahead and shower off in there. And because of the size of this closet, we do have a nice closet. When you open the bathroom doors, there it is. You have a lot of, a lot of options, a lot of closet space in here. Uh, the stick you're seeing on the door is your component serial card. So this kind of breaks down all of the components and all of the serial numbers and the items for everything in your motorhome. So if you'd ever need information, and what is in your Vegas, you're gonna find those right here. There are a couple of drawers down below. And then that leads us back into one of my favorite features, one of the big selling points of this 24.1 is this bedroom setup. This is the twin to king conversion. One, it's a north-south bed. So you saw how easy it was to access as the slide it was in. So in the event, and we don't recommend it, but we know people do it. They go back and they take a nap during the long drive. You can go ahead and it is north to south. And that's in the twin version. There's a middle piece, a middle section, if you will, um, that you just slide out. And then you have a king size bed. It's wall to wall. It's massive. You have a TV back here. You also have charging, a little charging station for your phones. You can put books back there. Tons of cabinet space above. You can really store so much in here. I mean, between the cabinet space you have in here and all of the exterior storage that we showed you, you can just really pack it all in there. Even two drawers below where the two twin beds are divided. So a lot of great storage in here. You also have a little door that you can pull. Uh, here, I'll show you how that works. So we'll, uh, here, you watch, ready? Just like this. And you just simply pull that back. And now the kids are up front. You're back here. Hey, you want to settle down over there? Seriously, we're trying to get some sleep. That's how it works when you travel with kids. And if you have, I bet I was being nice about it, wasn't I? Part of the fun of driving to Vegas, though, on top of exploring new places, the drive itself. I have gone on vacation in the Vegas, and I'm telling you what, it drives nice, it rides nice under the hood. Why does it drive so nice? Well, maybe it's because when you put the hammer down, you have a 7.3 liter V8 cranking out 350 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque. This is the premium engine we talked about that E-Series chassis. Now, that power is tied into a torque shift, select shift, six-speed transmission. It is really designed for heavy-duty usage, such as your Vegas. There's a tow-haul mode, and what that is gonna do if you are towing, we talked about towing, that's gonna tweak your shift pattern that way. There's going to be less gear hunting. You also have full manual mode if you would rather take control. Safety on this as well, hill start assist is a great feature to have. It is going to hold you in place when you are on a hill or going down. By the time you take your foot from the brake and you move it to the go pedal, motorhome's not going anywhere. It keeps that brake pressure applied until you say, all right, Vegas, let's go. Traction control, I'll tell you what, helps, uh, helps you in some of those slippery climates there. Electronic st uh, stability control, you have a twin I-beam front suspension. I tell you, it's just a smooth ride and it's got all the other bells and whistles so you're driving in comfort. Let's take a walk through that dash because there are a couple of buttons and features and functions that I want to show you here. So this is your main center stack here. The buttons in the middle is how you turn your traction control on and off. You can put your nightshade up or down. You can start your generator from here. You have some cabin lights, two 12 volt ports next to that. You have your HVAC and then down below you have a port if you want to hook up your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Over to the left, a nice place for your phone. We talked heated remote mirrors. That's where you control them. Tasty beverage of your choice in that cup holder. Auto headlights. 
Uh, your uh, fog lights are in there. Your auxiliary start button is there. Auxiliary start, wow, what a great feature that is, right? So say that you are out and for some reason you forget uh, something, right? And in your, uh, in your chassis battery dies, you can use your house batteries to start your motorhome. If you hold that button in and then you crank over, all the power from your house batteries will shoot into your chassis battery and your Vegas will start. You have cruise control. This is a great drive. Steering wheel cruise control. This button you're seeing right here, that is going to control some menus inside the screen. So trip meters and temperature, maintenance reminders, all of that goodness right there. This panel of buttons is new and I absolutely love it. See the camera there? We talked about the mirrors, right? Pulling up the mirrors at any time. You can do that with that camera button. All you have to do is press it, your left camera, your right camera. You can change the source on your radio. That is how you connect to the Bluetooth calls, skip tracks, the volume on your radio. Really great, you know, keep your eyes on the road type of feel. This radio, by the way, look at this. You have Sirius XM satellite radio. So you're gonna find a channel there for everyone. That is a screen from Android Auto. So you can plug your phone in depending on your operating system. An older phone like mine needs to be plugged in. You also have if you like Apple products, you have Apple CarPlay. So all the features there are there for you. Now, the one thing that this doesn't have is built-in navigation, and there's a reason for that because everybody likes their own navigation apps, right? Some people like to use Apple Maps, some like Google Maps, some like Waze. There's a lot of maps out there, but in a Vegas, you're probably gonna want something that is RV specific. You can download that. And how about this, four apps, one membership, Togo RV, RV Village, Campendium Road Pass. It's really, it, it's free for a year, okay, when you buy a new Thor Motor Home. You get that RV specific navigation. You put in all of the features, the height, 11 feet. You put in the width, you put in the length, 25 feet. Remember we talked about that? Everything you need about your motor home, you're gonna get, uh, look up RV campgrounds. It's a large social network as well, so you can reach out to other campers, and that stuff is so interesting. Oh, I stayed here. This was great. You got to go check this out. It's a free app to download and that's free for you for a year. And those are really great sources for you to kind of connect with the RV community because it really is just a large, friendly community no matter where you go. And you can go anywhere in Las Vegas and I recommend you do. And it doesn't necessarily have to be travel sports. I was using that as an example because at the stage right now where I'm at, my kids are going to be going off to college before I know it. One is on the way here soon, and uh, we'll probably want to visit. And as we get older, uh, my wife says, you know what I would love to do? I would love to take and just travel and explore in a motorhome. The problem is, what do you pick? Well, it depends what you're looking for. You're looking for something under 30 feet. That's a Class A that has a lot of room, a lot of storage. The 24-1 is hard to beat. Think about how you are going to use it. Guarantee you, you will not be disappointed when you travel in a Vegas. My recommendation, do it. Just do it, right? And when you're on the road, no matter where you happen to be, we talked about, you know, the game console. We talked about the streaming device. How about WineGuard Connect? What this is going to do for you is you can FaceTime with it because it's internet no matter where you are. You're going to need that. You're going to need that no matter how much you want to disconnect. You're still going to want to stay connected with family, with friends. Use a plan through WineGuard. You can use a plan through your favorite carrier. You just insert the SIM card, and now you can stay connected with anybody, anywhere. And they will be jealous when you are out on the road traveling in your Vegas. It is, it is a great way to explore. It's a great way to see the country. No matter how you decide to use it, get out there and making happen because it's, it's not about having time, it's about making time. I appreciate everybody being with us today. This is the Vegas 24-1, and we will see you next time.